Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this animated SWOT analysis presentation template in PowerPoint. We will combine regular animations and morph transition to achieve this beautiful result. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first go to view tab and then enable the guides. Next right click on the slide, choose format background, go to colors option and then select dark blue shade color to apply it. Next go to insert tab, draw a rectangle shape, make sure it covers lower half of the slide, remove its outline and then apply lighter shade of same blue color. Next again go to insert tab and this time draw a rounded rectangle shape, reduce its corner roundness, Align it centrally to slide, remove its outline and then apply the gradient fill. Make it a two step gradient and change the stop colors with same light and dark shade of blue color. Also go to shadow option and then apply outer shadow effect. Reduce its transparency and blur values to get the desired shadow effect. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape. This is the last rectangle shape required for this design. Slightly increase its width. Align it properly to slide. Remove its outline and finally match its fill color with the slide background. Go to shadow option and apply outer shadow effect. Reduce its transparency and blur values to get the desired shadow effect. Looks perfect. Next we will create 4 options circular design by selecting smart art under insert tab. Choose cycle category and then insert basic cycle smart art. Since we need only 4 circle shapes, let's delete one circle from this group and then ungroup this smart art 2 times until each shape is selectable. Now holding down shift key, delete all 4 circle shapes and then press delete key on your keyboard to delete the arrow shapes. Next select these 4 circle shapes, remove its outline, increase the transparency to see through and then change the fill color to red for better visibility. Now increase the size of the circle shapes by dragging their corner holding down ctrl and shift keys just until they touch each other. Now group all these 4 circle shapes, reduce their overall size and ungroup them again. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape to circumscribe these 4 small circle shapes. Make sure their boundaries slightly touch each other. Remove its outline, change its fill color to black and then increase its transparency to see through. Now drag and select all 5 circle shapes. Go to shape format and then fragment them together. Now select the shape as per the design requirement and union them together. I will change the fill color for better understanding. Total we must have 4 shapes enclosing in a circular pattern. Next select these 4 shapes and then drag them aside. Obviously there will be few leftover fragments. Just drag and select and then delete them. Now again select these 4 shapes. Change their fill color to white and remove its transparency. Also apply inner shadow effect. Change the shadow color to blue and increase the blur value until we get desired effect. Finally group all these 4 shapes together. Apply outer shadow effect and then increase transparency and blur values. That looks perfect so far. Next let us add PNG icons into slide number 1 and align them into each of these 4 shapes as shown. Since this template is for SWOT analysis, I have chosen icons which will represent each of its elements. Finally drag and select all these shapes and icons 
and then group them together. That will enable us to animate them together. Let me rotate this group and place it at any random alignment. Anyhow, we will position them correctly during the animation process. Next go to insert tab, choose pictures and then insert required 4 images. Again, in this example, each image will represent the element of SWOT analysis. Let me zoom out and align all 4 images in the sequence of S, W, O, T, one below the other as shown. Make sure all these images are aligned to vertical rectangle shape. Next, let's animate all these shapes. First, let's select the backend rectangle shape. Go to animations menu and then apply fly in animation. Let me enable the animation pane as well. Next, select the rounded rectangle shape and then apply split animation. Change its direction to vertically out. Start it after previous and set the duration to 0.75 seconds. Next, select the vertical rectangle shape. Apply split animation. Change its direction to horizontally out. Start it after previous and set the duration to 0.75 seconds. Now select this circular group and apply appear animation and start it after previous. Again select this group, go to add animation option just to avoid overwriting of previous animations and then apply zoom animation. Start it with previous and set the duration to 0.75 seconds. Again select this group, go to add animation option and this time apply spin animation. Start it with previous and set the duration to 0.75 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Next we will make the arrangements for morph transition. For that, let's duplicate this slide number 1 and on slide number 2, remove all existing animations as they are required only in slide number 1. Now select this circular group, rotate and align strength PNG icon as shown, drag and align strength image over the vertical rectangle shape and align other 3 images to the next positions. Let's add strength text into slide number 1. Align them properly and then change the font color if required. Let's draw a circle shape over the strength PNG icon just to highlight it and then remove its outline and increase the transparency until below PNG icon is visible. Next select the circle shape and text fields and then apply fade animation. Go to animation pane and then start first and third animation after previous. Now duplicate slide number 2 and on slide number 3 rotate the circular group and align weakness png icon as shown. Add the weakness text, align it properly and then apply fade animation. Under animation pane, reorder this animation to second position and then start it with previous. Next obvious step is to reorder the images and then place the weakness picture over the vertical rectangle shape. Next follow the same steps and duplicate these slides two more times. Rotate and align this circle shape to opportunities and threads PNG icons. Add opportunities and threads text fields. Apply fade animation. Start it with previous and reorder this animation to second position. And then finally rearrange the images in a sequential pattern.
Once all the arrangement is done, delete the last slide as it is not required now. Select the slides from 2 to 5. Go to transition and then apply morph transition. Also reduce the duration to 1 second. All set. So here is the final preview of this beautiful animation. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.